My name is Gary Chin. I've been fingerboarding for about seven years now, since late 2005. Also known as Weak Fingers on YouTube and on Tech Deck forums and stuff like that. Uh, how do you say it? Wunsiedel in Germany. Um, it's real close to Schwarzenbach, which is where Black River headquarters is. And they do all their operations and their orders there. So um, I arrived on Tuesday and it is now Sunday. So I've spent the last week here and I'm leaving tomorrow. It's been a great experience. The best moment I've had with fingerboarding, it was probably last year in the summer when I went to the US Fingerboarding Championship because I was taking a big break in fingerboarding when I went to college because I didn't have that much time. And I said, you know, I'll go to a contest. And I went to the contest and I met some people that I used to fingerboard with, Taylor Rosenbauer, Tim Hurley, some other guys. And I really rediscovered why I love fingerboarding so much in the first place. And that's why I'm here in Germany because, you know, meeting with people is a totally new experience. Um, sitting at your desk making videos is fun, but after six, seven years, you want to kind of meet up and do other things, so. What's special about the fingerboard scene is it's mostly internet driven. So it's mostly kids sitting at their desk making videos and you know, they, they'll sit and land tricks after 30 minutes, like a really hard trick, for example, like Nolly Heel Crook, Nolly Flip Out and it might take 30 minutes. But what's special about fingerboarding is it's moving away from just online to in person. Like you come to Fast Fingers in Germany or you go to Rendezvous or you go to IFC in Chicago and there's tons of different events you can go to and it's not just internet based now, it's spreading to you know, people meeting in person. And I hope that someday it might get to the point where you know, you can have friends in your neighborhood that you can meet up with and fingerboard, that'd be great. How has fingerboarding changed my life? Um, well, some people see fingerboarding as, wow, you know, I'm 20 years old now. People say, wow, he's 20 years old, he's in college and he's fingerboarding. And my response is usually, hey, like, I'm getting paid to do something I love to do, number one. And number two, I have so many different things that I have to do professionally. I have to act professional, I have to act like an adult. When I fingerboard, I can, you know, be myself and just, you know, forget about everything that's a problem in my life and just fingerboard, you know? So whenever I needed an escape from something, I could always fingerboard because there was always something I was good at, always something that made me feel good and I didn't need, you know, support of other people.